Mm. Welcome, my old nemesis. I have a bomb that will destroy your precious tail. And the only way to deactivate it is solve three math problems. Oh no, what did we do, John? <laughs> Don't worry, all we have to do is solve three easy math problems. <laughs> but what you didn't guess is their graphing and angle problems. <laughs> And you only have six minutes. Look, the problem's already on the board. Go. Oh no, I don't remember what consecutive interior angles are. Consecutive interior angles are two angles that are on the same side and on the inside. For example, three and five are consecutive interior angles. Alternate interiors are angles are when they're on the inside, but one's on the outside and one's on the inside. For example, four and five. Oh, so alternate exterior would be angles such as seven and two. Exactly. One that's on the outside, but they're they're almost one's on this side and one's on that side. Corresponding angles are when one's on the inside and one's on the outside. For, ex for example, <laughs> three and eight are corresponding. That makes sense. But you still need interior and exterior angles. The exterior is this area. The interior would be this area. So angles such as seven, eight, one, and two are exterior angles. Yeah. Oh, this makes sense now. In the interior angles are 3, 4, 5, and 6. That was the easy problem. And you only have 5 minutes left. Oh no, John, it's a slope problem. I don't remember slope. Don't worry, Andrew. Slope's easy. All you have to do is find the rise over the run. It's the rate of change. So first, you need to find the two points. Three, three. Then find the next two points. Negative one, one. And then you set it up in a rise over run formula. So the rise would be 2, and the run would be 4, which simplifies to 1 half. Oh no! There's only 2 minutes <laughs> left! <laughs> parallel and perpendicular? How do you do this, Andrew? I remember how to find parallel. See right here, in this equation, the two oh, slopes are the same. Therefore, they're parallel. parallel. Oh, we got the first one right. <laughs> oh, I can't remember perpendicular though. Could you explain it to me? Isn't it the opposite reciprocal? So because this is 3x and this is negative one third, wouldn't they be perpendicular? John, you're a genius. We did it. Yes, yes, Andrew, we, we did, did it. it with only 10 seconds to spare.